So there's one post I put on my website called The Myth of Self-Esteem. And basically what we do, we're all told that if we have no self-esteem, we're gonna live a happy life. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to picture this. Okay. So now you're using rational means to deal with irrational neurologic circuits. So you have these circuits that are anxiety in nature, driven by frustration, that have become these, these monstrous irrational circuits. And then we're using careers, money, relationships, whatever it is, to help ourselves feel better about ourselves. So really to feel better about yourself, I'm sorry, really to be happy in life, which we're really trying to say is you want less anxiety, correct? Isn't that the unsaid word? If I have less anxiety, I'm gonna be happier. If I have enough of these things, in some ways it's just masking behavior, but if I have enough of this, then I'm gonna be happier. Well, guess what? These circuits are irresponsible, or, or irrational. It's been felt that the emotional brain is 400 times stronger than the intellectual brain. So you're using rational means to deal with irrational circuits, plus it's one four hundredth as strong, and it doesn't work. So I call it the myth of self-esteem. I think self-esteem is one of the worst things ever put onto our society because the should work comes in. Okay, I've achieved this, this, and this. I should be happy. And guess what? These circuits are going out of control. So what happened to me about 10, 15 years ago when I hit my burnout is I achieved everything in life that I thought I should have to be happy. It's a pretty common scenario with a lot of my professional colleagues. They have achieved everything they need to be happy. And guess what? These circuits keep spinning away. Then what happens? You become desperate. What do you do? Where do you go? So the reprogramming tools are basically there's three parts of reprogramming. There's awareness, detachment, or de-energizing, and reprogramming. 